Radiation levels increasing. Nice work. Radiation levels normal. Detecting above normal radiation levels. Radiation within safe levels. Override works. Sam, the door was sealed from the outside? Yeah. Secondary terminals, no access. Sam? If deployment is standard, main access will be deeper in. Override, close it! Tempest, we have an unknown enemy. Evac the Pathfinder. Whoa, hold on. No go, Harper. We have to lay low. Ket are inbound to your location. Ket and that thing? Son of a... Until they're gone.
portable cover of Ket design. Didn't bother to take it with them. Nexus not send a retrieval team for the bodies? We knew some were lost, Ryder. We weren't told they were left. Wonder how many are out there. Too many. Lexi, update Nexus records on Trinidus or Danis. Get a recovery shuttle out here. Good idea. If he's got family, they deserve closure. We'll give them more than closure. We'll finish what he started. bodies. Not that I'm complaining. Schematics for Special Project Sigma. They were... Got a component for Site 2's project. Not sure what's worse. This or dying slow like promised. Happy thoughts, Liam. Radiation levels increasing. Radiation levels within acceptable limits. What the? Pathfinder, that body. A scan might help us figure that out. Surprised the Nexus still wants an outpost on Eos. You know what they say, third time's a charm. We'll make this right. Radiation levels have spiked, Pathfinder. You're better than your listed training. You had a mentor. I had a team who didn't want me to die. Still do, right? Damn it. One of our shuttles ahead. Worth checking, if only to make sure the cat don't get to keep it. All Site 2 components are accounted for. Let's head to Site 2's research station and see what good they do. Look out for anything big and hungry. Resilience is more than a name. It's our duty now. Nice. Let's get to a research station, see what we've got. Parts for the Site 2 project. Check.
Remember the early data on EOS back home? When everywhere was labeled H with a bunch of numbers? <laughs> Your dad put those readings up in his office. Knew them all by heart. Wonder what those worlds really looked like then. And now. The first colonists sent audio logs about these regions back to the Nexus. And? Fairwinds Basin. Lowest radiation count in the air. Pathfinder, this location could support an outpost, but there are multiple complications to resolve. Automated protocols activated. Deploying forward station. Mining zones in this region are available, Pathfinder. I've added them to your nav system. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. Is this what you signed on for? It's what we have. Not the answer I'm looking for. Just help Ryder and keep going. That's all we can do. Remnant bots. These ones don't seem hostile.
Lexi, found another colonist. So many. All right, send me their information. We're so close. I just know it. Once we get that linguist, there's so much to I detect keep. a high level of remnant encryption here, Pathfinder. To it. continue, you will need to decrypt it. Slow start, but we got this. We. Oh no. We need more of those symbols. No! I wonder if I'd get anything on the scanner. enough glyphs. Ah. Interface failed, Pathfinder. Defense systems engaging. Radiation levels have spiked, Pathfinder. 
Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. Ascent is go. Leaving Atmel. All clear. Oh, Gil wanted you to check in. Ah, Pathfinder. It's so wonderful to meet you. I'm Dr. Suvi Anwar, assigned to act as liaison between your crew and the Nexus science team. What do you mean, liaison? Are you going to tell on me? Of course not not interested in politics. I advise only on the science. I've studied all the planetary scans. I've even had some hands-on experience with Helios soil samples. If you want, I'll send you my analysis on the native bacteria and microfauna. 60 pages. That's a lot of pages. About dirt. Oh, you don't have to be kind. I know it's barely more than a summary. Anyway, I've waited months to get out there to see Helios. It's why I joined the initiative. The Milky Way was just a corner of a vast universe, a corner of a tiny corner. We're the ones who got to step out of that corner. It's incredible. The first time I handled a Prothean artifact, I was hooked. It was so alien. I just knew there's more out there and I want to see all of it. I totally know what you mean. So will you be joining us on missions? Oh. <laughs> That's funny, me, out there, with the guns and the danger and everything. I'm good with guns and danger. I could teach you, and make sure you're okay out there. Really? Maybe one day, when things are more settled. I couldn't imagine a better teacher. Anyway, I've just received some instructions from the science team, and I really should go over them. Later, then. Ryder, when you've got a minute, stop by the med bay. Most of the crew bunks in here. Cozy, huh? But your room's got more of a view. You're not Harry. The blue give it away? Habitat 7 was a little more action-packed than Harry bargained for. He decided to spend his retirement years in the Hyperion looking after your brother. Joke's on him. Scott's a handful. I think you're both trouble. Hold still. Ow! Sorry. I remember you having a gentler touch. Still trying to get my bearings. Thought I'd be waking up colonists, not taking care of the Pathfinder. I couldn't be in better hands. I just stabbed you. We all have off days. I always hoped to work in the field, but everything's happening so quickly. Focus on the positive. It helps. I guess this is my opportunity to study alien species firsthand. 
Getting a cat specimen aboard the Hyperion would be difficult, but here... Uh, what? A cat corpse. For autopsy, a, a live subject would be better, but I'm not greedy. Why do you care about the cat? Harry didn't tell you? I'm a specialist in alien anatomy. My thesis on Krogan virility and aggression is what got me in the initiative. That's a very... specific topic. I grew up on Omega. Lots of Krogan mercenaries. The best habitat outside Tuchanka. But we were discussing the cat. An autopsy could teach us potential weaknesses, average lifespan... Right. Just something to think about. Sam, make sure the Pathfinder eats her vegetables. I'm in the armory. Pathfinder, help me with something? I know, not exactly standard. Gotta make the space comfortable. Plus, the fabric diffuses the charge from an overclocked Omni blade. Not giving up a 6% boost, right? Someone brought this to Andromeda? It was new when we left. It's been a hard year. So, finally time for that beer? And after two years and a dozen suspensions, I took a lateral promotion out of the force. Being a cop just didn't fit. The crisis response? Digging people out of trouble? That worked. I bet Hustle followed you into a few peace actions. Think about your alliance days much? Tell me about your group. Heavy urban search terrain one? Yeah. Earth's contribution to a multi-species disaster response unit. HUST one, but Hustle looks much better on the patch. All civilians, retired vets, or shits like me. I was fiercely bearded. Tastes better just thinking about those days. I wanted exploration to chase the cutting edge of Prothean research. I thought I'd found my calling. Seems like a long time ago. 600 years, give or take. So, Pathfinder. Why Andromeda? That blunt, huh? That blunt. I started in the Alliance, but it was the science that kept me going. And when that ended... Well, if I wanted to be a part of the next big discovery, it had to be here. Oh, I don't hear idealist a lot. Everyone's cynical. Back at you, Costa. Why do you come? I want to say I'm running from my past, but really running from myself. That'd be a great story. But it's bullshit. I had family, friends, a good enough job. Nothing was wrong. I just heard about the initiative and... I believed in it. I believed in a new beginning. Still do. I have to. We're in it. If it all goes wrong, it could feel like we left for no reason. I know why I'm here. A bad start can't change that. I won't let it. In crisis response, I'd focus on essentials. That's you and this team. Pathfinder leads to planets, leads to people. You've got your part covered. You've got this. I'll do my damnedest to help with the rest. Oh, hey, Pathfinder. <gasps> the Pathfinder's there? Let me say hi. Fine, but don't embarrass me. Ryder, this is Sid, my sister. Sid, Ryder. Let me guess. Little sister? Who are you calling little? Look, kiddo. Gotta go. Wait, Ryder, I just wanted to know if... So I know it feels like I just jumped aboard your ship without explanation? I would have done the same just to get off the Nexus. That's not why I came. Sure, I want to explore the galaxy, but I'm really here to work. I know everyone on the crew, even the actuators Gil prefers for the ship. Better, I know how to get my hands on them. With me around, your crew's going to be at their best. 
We've been failing for months, Ryder. Now that we have you, we have a chance out here. Ability to haggle with the locals? Great. But please tell me you're also good in a fight. Like I said before, Wrangler, Provisioner, Gunner, and everything in between. I do what I have to. We all have a personal stake in this. If it keeps going the way it's been, we're all dead. I should track down a lead for Gil's actuators. Back channels, you know. We'll chat later. These are the Pathfinder's quarters. Your quarters. Sam's router is down there, too. Hello, Ryder. It is interesting to be renewed. How do you mean? Since my creation, I have been Alec Ryder's Sam. Now, I am your Sam. I am still myself, but now the input and experiences I have are completely new. I will develop in a new direction. The term, reincarnation, seems appropriate. Are you okay with changing who you're becoming? I cannot know until I see the result. I look forward to our continued partnership. What was Dad's take on Scott and I? He believed your family trials brought you closer together, and hoped that would endure. It appears that hope was well-founded. What was Dad's take- it appears that hope was well-founded. So if we're going to work together, you might notice I like to joke around sometimes, lighten things up. How's your sense of humor, Sam? Alec Ryder encouraged me to develop this skill. Humor's not a skill, it's... Okay, try telling me a joke. A Neutron enters a bar and asks, How much is a drink? The bartender replies, For you, no charge. I can see why Dad told you to keep working on your humor. Thanks, Sam. Nothing more. Where's my data pad? Oh, how'd you get under there? Uh, Suvi, were you talking to your- Ryder. I take it you work closely with the Nexus Science team? I try to keep in contact with them. We discuss anything and everything we discover out here. After all, many brains are better than one, and Dr. Aridana is worth two or three at least. I work best when I have other people to bounce ideas off of. How long have you been awake in Helios? Not as long as some. Missed the entire mess of the uprising, thank heaven. I was defrosted to replace an exiled member of the team. Not that there was much science to do for the longest time. So what did you do? Helped wherever I could. Made plans for science we would eventually do. I spent some time on an investigation, figuring out how long the food would last if the worst happened. Who's essential, who's not, who gets what, I... I don't want to do that again. I'm so sorry. I can't believe you had to do that. With no arcs, no pathfinders, we had to plan for the worst. I'm still fuzzy about how we managed to see Andromeda all the way from home. It confused me too. I mean, the light lag would have made any data two million years out of date. So I asked Dr. Aridana, and she told me, well, it wasn't her tech that did it. It was the guests. You're kidding. 
Those killer robots we had in the Milky Way? Those exact ones. The Initiative obtained data from an array in deep space, a Geth construct. According to Aridana, the Geth rebuilt a mass relay and turned the approach corridor into an FTL sensor. FTL sensor? So a faster-than-light telescope? They could survey Andromeda as it was? Not exactly, but it cut down the lag by... enough. We don't know why the Geth were interested in observing beyond the galaxy, though. Maybe we'll never know. Did my dad know about this? Why didn't he tell me? It's possible he didn't know. The Geth are isolationist and hostile. Using the info, even obtaining it in the first place, probably crossed a lot of boundaries. I should get back to things. Sounds good.
just some light spatter from ice in the scourge. I'll recalibrate the sensors for a bloody nuisance, Cloud. Pathfinder. What do you know about the scourge? We established that it's artificial. Someone put it there. Or they did something that caused its creation. We don't know why. That's still a mystery. I should get back to things. Sounds good. Glad you stopped by. You'll pardon me if I keep an eye on our vector? That's probably smart. Ah, uh, nothing like being on the bridge of your very own ship, is there? I could stand here and drink in that view all day. When I was test piloting the ship back home, I often did. Of course, it took a whole team to build the Tempest. I was the only one to come to Helios, though. Why did you? What can I say? We poured our hearts into a ship that wouldn't realize her potential until Andromeda. I could have stood on the shore and waved goodbye, or took the leap to see how it all turned out. I like the Tempest, but I'm not sure I'd travel between galaxies for her. The Unknown Frontier had its charms, too. It's just strange not having the rest of the design team. I remember Serena debugging line 2281 over and over, chewing that green pencil. Tion and O'Connell arguing equations tapping on the console, three drips of coffee on the corner. You remember all that? Hmm? Oh, yes. Solarians have photographic memories, and apparently mine's unusually sharp. Like my past is still happening. Though I suppose with the Solarian Ark missing, you might not get many chances to compare. Did you hear anything about the Ark back on the Nexus? Not a peep. Isn't that strange? You'd think there'd be something. Not that I dislike your company, but it's lonely without other Solarians. Cheer up, Kalo. We'll always have Director Tan. That snide little bureaucrat? All the more reason to find the others. I should get back to it, but thank you. I was afraid the Tempest would be mothballed after we lost your father. We built her for this. She deserves to be in a Pathfinder's hands. Please, come by any time. Coordinating, path is calm. like salvage. New. Days ago new. Probably the guy at the relay tower, or his friends. Nomads jump jets. They'll get you over most obstacles. If you need more juice, the boosters can accelerate you out of trouble.
Pathfinder. Another diseased colonist. So whatever tech we found on Habitat 7 is the same as what's here? That's what the scan suggests. Two planets now. What does that mean? You know what it means. Sue up and find out. Got it. Automated protocols activated. Deploying forward station. I like those pre-trip vision paintings of future EOS. Green fields, rivers, forests. Wonder what it'll really be like down the line. Your death storms would be nice? We'll get there. Pathfinder is enough to tip the balance. Pathfinder, there is an armor piece buried deep, a leg bracer. Scan indicates tissue and bone fragments clinging to it. DNA identified as Chief Reynolds. Indications suggest his body was torn to pieces. So the Chief became Karkin food. Circle of life can be gruesome. The remaining armor will be scattered, or perhaps brought to a nest. The chest piece and his Omni tool may explain his death. We keep searching and scanning. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. We should check out that remnant area. Pathfinder. The scan has picked up Chief Reynolds' chest piece, confirming single shot. Unable to determine weapon type, but entry point was at the back. Exit blast through the chest. By all accounts, Nilkin was in front of the Chief when he fired, so it wasn't his shot that killed him. The Chief's Omni tool might shed some light. Thank you. 
Karkin nest, all right. Fan out. Confirming initiative equipment, including Omnitool assigned to Security Chief Hiram Reynolds. Accessing data. If you power the chief was scanning at the time of death. Data. The scan picked up two shots. One, a standard initiative rifle report, which missed. The other from behind, a Ket pulse weapon. This proves Milken is innocent. He didn't shoot Reynolds. That's a relief. Good work. Pathfinder. There is also an audio recording. Go ahead and play it. No! Where's Nilkin? Sorry, old friend. Had to do it. I'm not dying on this rock. Son of a bitch. Confirming. Voice identified as suspect, Nilkin. So he did not kill the chief. But he meant to. Need another chat with the man. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. Ascent is go. Leaving at home. All clear. Gil's been asking if you can come by.